So on this episode, we're gonna try to get the doors in their final priming. We've got a couple of waves and stuff to take out. So we'll get that done, we'll prime them up, and we're gonna flip them over, sand them down, and see if we can't jam out the inside of the doors. Y'all hang out with us. So our doors are straight. We've got the primer on there, the final priming. We're gonna go ahead and turn them over, sand the inside, and paint the inside today. So I'm going, I'm gonna go around and sand this door, try to get all this junk off. It looks like old dried up adhesive or something. So try to sand it with the DA as much as possible, and then I'm probably gonna wet sand and scotch pride it to clean it all up real good. We'll try to let it dry out some color on it so I'm getting ready to wet sand these doors I'm gonna set them on the stands I'm gonna show you just a couple little things just to keep in mind and um, sometimes it's the little things that save you a lot of time anyway let me show you this so these doors are ready to paint ready to sand to paint right so I don't want to mess the outsides up so I've got to stick them on these stands Got to put them up here and while I'm sanding on them and all this stuff I don't want to damage the outside so one thing I'll do is hopefully I got a padded stand that's got some foam on it but these are about shot anyway I'll put a piece of cardboard on there too and also the way you put the door on the stand is very important so when I put the door on the stand I'm going to want it to make contact lengthwise right that way it gives a lot of surface area to the door to keep it from making dents or anything I would never want to set the door on the stand that way because it puts too much pressure in a small area which is gonna create dents so all that time I spent getting it straight is just shot See how the length of the stand runs long ways, so you get a lot of contact with the surface. That'll save you a lot of aggravation. On it, Sophie. Nothing worse than having a bunch of dents after you've done straightened something. So these doors have non-catalyzed paint on them, lacquer. One way to check that is take a rag, put some 
paste thinner on it, lacquer thinner. See if it comes off. So it's coming right off with lacquer thinner. So that means it's a non catalyzed product. So you have to be careful when you paint over that. If you use the wrong product, it'll cause lifting. See if I can demonstrate lifting right here. Put some lacquer thinner on that. It's almost like putting paint stripper on. Let's see. See how it's bubbling up the paint? If that happens when you're painting, it creates a big problem. Look, look at all that. So that's called lifting. So that's why it's best to strip it to bare metal and bring it up from there. Now, if you're not going to do that, there are some options where you can use uh, a paint that's less aggressive, such as a single stage. Uh, you might could use base coat with hardener in it, but it's still rolling the dice, especially as easy as this lifts. But I'm going to put single stage on this because I don't really want to strip it all the way to bare metal. Um, probably should have in the beginning, but we're way past that now. So I'm gonna sand it and single stage it. And the single stage won't attack the layers underneath like a solvent base coat would. So that's the route I'm going on this one. I'm gonna sand this thing, sand these doors with 400 wet. This 400, it actually goes pretty quick. Sands a lot off. You see some of that blue is not stuck at all. I can get a DA sander and sand this and it'll go a little faster. We're already wet, so. We'll see. The majority of this is going to be covered up. You got the door panel. There's another panel that's going to be down here. So I'm really concentrating on the areas that are going to show. And what I want to make sure I do is get rid of paint that's not stuck in all these grooves down here. All that paint's just falling off just about. So when I get through with this, hopefully all that'll be off. If it's not stuck now, it's not going to be stuck with something on top of it. Once I get through sanding and get everything I can get with the sandpaper, I'll come back with a scotch bright, some scuff stuff, and try to get the rest of it. Some things to think about when you're doing these jams and all is if I'm going to jam this, put it on the truck, and then do the outside later. I'm gonna to have to tape this off. So I wanna make absolutely sure that when I tape to this inside, it's not gonna peel off. That'd be a lot of wasted energy and time. Then you gotta to try to fix that. So keep that in mind. Make sure you sand it so everything's gonna to stick to it. Cause you don't wanna pull off that tape you have in the jam, pull off the paint. All right, so I got the doors all sanded in 400. There's still a lot of dirt, especially in the cracks and crevices that you can't get to with sandpaper. So I'm gonna get a red scotch bright, some scuff stuff, and I'm gonna go around this thing and clean it up really good and scuff it at the same time.
So all the parts that matter look really good. There's still dents and stuff in the bottom, but they're gonna be covered up for the, for the most part. A little bit of area that's gonna be exposed looks really good. So that's it for this time. We got them painted. We're gonna turn the lights off, cut the fan off, and get out of here before the bugs show up. Catch y'all next time. Thanks for watching.